Fact of the day. Fact of the day. Hello, hi, and welcome to Fact of the Day with me, Mark Lotsu. Forest fires started by winged arsonists. Winged arsonists. Birds. So two years ago, in 2016, yes, that's now officially two years ago, there are rumours around that birds were starting forest fires. Why? To flush out their prey. And these rumours originated in Northern Territories in Australia. So which birds are the arsonists? First of all, you have the black kite, Milvus migrans, the whistling kite, Haliastus venurus, and brown falcons, Falco berigora. The claim is that they would pick up burning sticks from one part of an existing fire and drop them further away to start a new fire. So they're using it as a tool to flush out the prey which would run from the fire and then the birds could fly down, catch up and eat the prey. So this was speculated by Bob Gosford and some people were like, wow, and others weren't so sure. But recently him and his colleagues have found 20 new eyewitness accounts to suggest that this actually happens. One of the most impressive descriptions was by Dick Hewson, who is a former firefighter in the Northern Territory. So he said in 1980, he was tackling a fire and then suddenly one sprung up on the other side of the road. Now normally physical barriers prevent fires from spreading and we humans use this as a technique. It's called a fire break. So this was strange to Dick and then he noticed in the air about 20 meters away there was a kite and this kite was carrying a smoldering stick and it dropped the stick and boom another fire erupted. Now it totally had to extinguish another seven new fires started by the kites. Now another firefighter and yes most of these eyewitness accounts are going to be firefighters because they're out fighting the fire so they'd see this thing happening. Nathan Ferguson had seen both successful and unsuccessful attempts by kites to spread fires and his observations run from 2001 all the way through to March 2017 and in one instance he said he saw hundreds of kites circling around the fire and some were able to start a new fire distances of up to 50 meters away from the original blaze. So what are they going to do? They're now going to do experiments using controlled fires to see if they can observe this behavior and fully document it. So it's thought that the birds do this only when the flames reach a barrier something like a road and then they use it to stop the flames from going out. So they help to spread it onto the other side. And there are reports of birds spreading fires in the Americas, Africa, and South Asia, all of them independently of each other. As in, they all learn to do this independently. So whilst we're out fighting fires to try and protect human lives as birds, the birds could actually be spreading them to new areas. The other really interesting point is the oldest known hominin human-like evidence of fire starting was about 400,000 years ago and none of the other great apes do anything like this. However, birds of play have been around for millions of years before us and they may have become experts in the flame before we knew what was even going on. So it seems the original fire starters were actually birds. That is forest fire spread by winged arsonists. Thanks for watching. Love you, bye, love you, bye, love you, bye.